What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another video and today I wanted to go over one that's not necessarily a dividend stock whatsoever. This is more of a play that's going to just be a very very long play. Again you guys know I'm not one of these fans of stocks that really don't pay dividends and things like that. So this is one of these that I really think we need to talk about though and I'm going to explain why. So with that being said let's go on ahead cue the intro and get into this video. Hey guys, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up and subscribe. I'm always I'm putting out at least one video a week, giving you guys absolutely free content that's gonna help you guys, whether it's long term, short term, just in finance and, and everything like that. So with that being said, let's jump back to the video. What's going on guys? Facebook, also known as Meta Platforms. I mean, we got no problem with Meta whatsoever. And I got a few articles that I'm gonna show you and kind of go through some things just to get my point across here. So year to date, I think this is actually a good one. Um, it's not going to show very much because of where it's at, but there we go. Let's go to one year, we're at 25%. Five year, obviously, year to date, because again, it's only been, you get, it's only been a couple of days. So that's why it's gonna show like that. But I wanna go to Max. Of course, Facebook has grown dramatically from when I was in high school, graduated in 2015, so on and so forth. And again, it's just taken off. Your grandma's on it, your mom's, mom's, mom's on it, and so on and so forth. I mean, this is where marketing is going on. It's literally programmed to sell you stuff as you browse and see what people are doing in your normal lives, or even the people that you don't wanna see in some cases but metaverse so why do i think the metaverse or facebook meta platforms is actually going to be even more profitable in the future compared to where it's already at because you gotta remember this number that it's at right now is hyped up because of the metaverse now here's where we're going to go into the metaverse and no i don't want this and you can read through all these now I think this is a kind of an important thing just to show here because it is the next major step in how humans interact with each other digitally. And this is going to bring just a 3D world. Now, not only that, and you can read through these, I can link them down below. There was a picture, maybe it's not on this one, but I do like this one, virtual reality. It's going to basically, Mark Zuckerberg is basically taking this to the next level. If you guys have ever seen the Oculus, basically you're going to put it on and it's gonna be an ultimate or an extra universe. And people are going to be able to have jobs on the metaverse and things like that. Now, which I think is very cool. Um, I do think people should still get out. Um, I've day traded for a living and stuff like that and being stuck at home does suck. I found out better that I have done better as a trader and as an investor and stuff when I have a normal job and I keep my brain busy and active and moving and things like that. So the metaverse land rush is the big thing that we're talking about. Now don't get me wrong, the metaverse is also going to deal with NFTs. I know a lot of people are into that. I am not big into that. That's okay. Everybody's got their own opinion. I'm, I know people that have made quite a bit of money on it. But we had sales of the virtual land boom. Now this is the biggest thing to me because this increases the revenue of Facebook or Metaverse dramatically because they're basically making land which has never been made before out of thin air. Now of course yes they had to program it, code it, all of that. But they're making it out of thin air and they sold it for or they're selling pieces for 2.4 million sale of a 116 parcel estate in decentral decentral land which is fine no problem with that again people are going to buy this and i think this picture right here shows it best honestly mainly again i don't subscribe to all these different things you can see them up here in the corners but this picture right here just shows how people are going to be able to interact with each other without ever leaving their house and yes, you can read through all of this. We don't really care about it. We care more about buying real estate here on this section. And that's where you're going to get more and more and more revenue coming in. And basically, there's an old game called Second Life. Right here, they highlight it and it kind of shows where it's at. But this one is going to be able to be you 
moving around in your own home and being able to live right there. Now again, should now I guess the question is for this actual video is should you be buying Facebook? To be 100% honest with you, I have picked up some Facebook over the past week and that's what made me want to do this video for everybody because when I was talking to a couple of other people about why I bought Facebook stock, this was what came up and this is how I had to explain myself and kind of because again, if you buy something and invest something, you should be able to talk your way through it and why you did it. Facebook, I think, is going to continue to go up. They are way ahead of in the future, and they are continuing to push. Same with Google. Um, this article, I think it's this one, shows that Google is talking about the Google Glass and being able to operate in it. Um, now, this one right here, I think, is actually good. The story of Facebook is a familiar one by now as a brilliant Harvard student, Zuckerberg, of course. Um, website is dorm room. That's how we all started. Um share yeah see it okay that's not what i wanted out of that actually to be honest with you but there was an article i was reading earlier where it explained two point yeah 2.4 million in this virtual land boom is still nuts to me but again they're bringing up the nft based tokens in the sandbox sell i mean guys they're going to make more of this they're going to sell it for more there's going to be popular areas like a new york like a chicago like a los angeles and those are the pieces of ground, If you, even if you can buy them. But again, it's like real estate. You just got to know that it's going to be worth something. The, the biggest risk for Metaverse is that it doesn't become that New York or whatever, and nobody actually wants it. And you end up, if you're investing a lot, and it ends up selling to somebody that you don't know. So hype is going to be the biggest thing with Metaverse and the land that's in the Metaverse. Why do I say that? Because you're going to have to have famous people basically buying in to these and people are going to want to live next to them in the metaverse. So that's where you're going to get your value. It's going to get hype. You can sell overpriced homes or parcels of land in the metaverse for way over what it's probably valued for and realistic. So with that being said, guys, thank you guys all for watching this video. I want to keep it short. I want to keep it simple. And I just want to let you guys all be aware of where investments are actually going right now, and Facebook does seem to be ahead of the curve. So thank you guys all for watching.